Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing my updated everyday makeup routine. So I do have my little makeup bag with me today and we're just gonna go ahead and sit down and chit chat, get ready with me. So starting off, you guys probably noticed that I got a haircut. <laughs> Um, and I'm kind of embracing my curly hair. It's a lot curlier now that it's shorter So I do like it a lot, but obviously some days are better than others today. is like an okay day But I want my hair out of my face. So I'm gonna take my little cat ears and We're just gonna put our hair back. So to start off I just want to explain my makeup bag and where I got it from so this is my new um, makeup bag. I decided to get a bag for everyday makeup instead of having to take it out of my drawers and everything every time because it's just faster and simpler. And then if I had to pack this to go to work or to bring with me to school or something, then it was just easy and everything was already in here. So I'm just gonna go through, there's three compartments. So this is where brushes are. This is where I put my eye makeup stuff and then this is all face makeup and this bag is actually from Sonia Kashuk I ordered it off of Target's website I'm pretty sure they have it in stores too though but I just really enjoy the pattern of this one so to start off I am going in with actually two primers um, I basically my primers I have way too many of them um, so I'm really just trying to use up all of my little sample size ones so right here I have the Too Faced Hangover RX replenishing face primer um, but I do really like it because I have normal to dry skin. Um, I do have that little eczema patch right here, so sorry if you guys see that. It's really hard to put makeup over it because it does kind of show, um, but that's just been a trouble area for me for the past like six months, so it's, it's whatever. Um, and then I have the NYX Pore Filler Primer. So this is basically like the Poreffessional. Um, and I am almost done with it. I don't know if you can see, I can see like inside of it right now. <laughs> I have like this much left, so I'm just trying to finish it off. So while I go in with these, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to talking. Um, basically, biggest life update, I graduated. Yay! Um, so yeah, I graduated from LSU, mass communication, concentration digital advertising. And so now I'm job hunting, which is so much fun. But I do have one promising thing that I will hear back from this week. So we will see. But I've just been interviewing and applying and it's a process. So going in with the next pore filler, I try not to put it on the um, eczema patch that I have or psoriasis. I don't know what it is, guys. I haven't been to a dermatologist. <laughs> um, but I have it on, I put it on my nose. A little in between the brows I'll put it on this cheek and then the chin and then I always have like a little towel with me to wipe my hands off after this was a gift from a color guard member um, and I love it and I use it pretty much every day to do my makeup so love that so my everyday um, foundation I've been using the Mary Kay CC cream but yeah, and I use it in the color light to medium. I've been enjoying it because it doesn't give me like too much coverage, it's not cakey. It's nice and like breathable. Um, I go in with about two pumps and then I just dot it all over my face and then I'll go in with my sponge to blend it out. So, update on makeup stuff. I am a hoarder and I didn't realize it until probably when I was like packing all of my stuff to come home from college. Um, way too much makeup stuff. I have way too much. And it's, I really think it's because, well one, I'm a hoarder. Um, and two, I watch too much makeup videos on YouTube and they all have the newest products. And so I want the newest products because I want to try them. So I get like six concealers and I haven't finished a single one of them. Um, I have like a million primers and I don't finish them and like I have a million of things that I just don't touch so my kind of new thing has been probably since I don't know the past couple months um, has been to try to not buy new makeup stuff unless I run out which is not going to happen anytime soon because I have so many of everything <laughs> so I canceled my subscriptions I don't do Ipsy or BoxyCharm anymore because I honestly just don't need any more makeup. Like it's it's crazy. 
like maybe I'll show you guys my makeup collection, but I do have some of it packed um, because my family is moving at the end of June. Um, okay, I'm going in with the Mary Kay color corrector, under eye corrector. Yeah, because it doesn't have a shade. And I just put a little bit, I learned this from Tati. She does a little bit right here, right here in the center, like the inner corners, and then on the outer corners. And then I usually put a little bit where my blemishes are, or like scabs, from where I picked them. But yeah, back to the um, makeup stuff. Basically, I've been trying to like use up what I have. So I think so far I've finished off one mascara. I've finished off a few of my sample size um, primers. Um, that's probably about it. But yeah, I've really been working towards that and I'm trying not to buy any more makeup because not only do I not have a job, I don't have money to buy makeup, um, but also I don't need any more. Like I have so much. So now I'm gonna go in with some cream products and I've kind of really been enjoying cream products um, in the summertime right now. So I have these three that are kind of my go-to base steps. Um, I have the Fit Me Shine Free Balance. It's actually a foundation stick. Um, and I use the color Toffee Caramel. Um, and so it's, it's very pointy <laughs> because I only use it for contour. I specifically got it too dark so that I could use it for contour. So I just put a little bit for my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead. And then I'm going to blend this out. I really love this little brush. I didn't know what to use it for at first, but I figured out that this was like the best way. Um, it's a little elf. I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but it's a fan brush, but it's like super thick. So I've been using this in like upward motions to kind of push the cream product into my cheeks. And I found that this actually works really well. Um, so I'm just gonna go in the hairline, the cheeks. I use whatever's left over from each side, like I do one side, and then I'll do my jaw. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Wet n Wild blush stick, and I'm using the shade Floral Majority. So when I go in with this, I like to put some kind of just dot it on um, and I put a little dot all the way to the center of my cheeks but I like to keep it in like a stripe look um, because then when I go in and blend it I can move it a little further out but that's where I like my color to be but then I'm gonna go in with this clean color brush that I got from um, some online store I'll try to insert the name if I remember what it is um, but this was a dollar, and it works really well for cream products. That's what I've been using it for mostly. And then I do a little poop on my nose. And I forgot that I did not go in with my concealer yet. And usually I go in with my concealer before my cream products. Um, but we're just going to go in with it now. Um, so I'm using the Wet n Wild Light Medium Beige Concealer. I just got a new tube of this. I went through my old one. I mean in like three months, so kind of fast for me, but I love this concealer. It is so cheap, so affordable, and it really works. I find that it's not like too heavy, um, but it's just enough, so I'll wear this sometimes by itself without even a foundation. Um, and I just put it on my trouble areas, and we'll blend it out with the sponge. And then for cream highlight, I have been using the Mary Kay Illuminating Drops, and I'm using the shade Golden Horizon. And honestly, I know I'm like plugging the Mary Kay kind of hard, but my mom does sell Mary Kay, so I get the newest stuff, and she knows that I love to try it out. Um, and I don't talk about stuff on here if I don't, you know, enjoy it and actually use it, so actually I'm gonna blend this out with my fingers. So for concealer, I used to really love the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and lately it just hasn't been doing it for me. It creases so easily, and I don't know what happened because I used to love it. 
Um, but yeah, so I've just going been going back to my Tarte concealer, and now I use this for every day. I used to only use it kind of for my heavier makeup days, um, but now I just use it for every day, and I just use a little bit because it is very, like a little goes a long way. It's very, very, what am I saying? <laughs> very brightening? Yeah, I don't know. And then I'm gonna go in with my Essence Brighten Up Powder. Um, the lid broke on it, but I love this stuff. Um, as you can tell, I've definitely, it's been on pan for a while, so once I finish with this, I'll have to find something else to use, but I just like to dip my sponge in there and then go in and press the powder into my under eyes and my eyelids because I do find that my eyelids crease if I put concealer on them. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is the Milani Prep Set and Glow um, Illuminating Transparent Powder. So for this one I've definitely hit pan on this. I love this stuff because I do like a little bit of a glow to my skin. I like to not look powdery so I feel like this definitely accomplishes that for me. And then I do like to go in and kind of blend out where I put the under eye powder because sometimes it can be a little, a little much. And then I go in with my other powder products. So I don't do this every day where I do cream and powder, um, but if I want my makeup to stay on, then I definitely do the cream and then the powder because I feel like if you have two layers, if one layer vanishes, then at least you have your cream underneath. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with, actually I took off the top because this is another broken one. Um, <laughs> This is a little embarrassing, but look how like the name has just wiped right off. Um, but this is the Revolution Ready To Go Bronzer. So this product is newer to my collection and I kind of felt bad for buying it, but I have been using it every day, so you know, it's kind of justified. Also, I got it at TJ Maxx, so it was less expensive than it would have been if I actually bought it at the store. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. So I think the color, I've been alternating between these three colors, um, but I think I'm gonna go in with the mauve color. So my highlight that I have been using on a daily basis um, is the Ofra highlighter in Rodea Drive. And oh my god, it's so gorgeous. This is also new to my makeup uh, collection because this was like in the last Ipsy bag that I got. I can't remember what month, but this is like honestly one of the best things I've ever gotten in an Ipsy bag because it's full size. At least I think it's full size. If it's not, then I don't want to know what full size is because that's huge. But yeah, so this has been my new love. Okay, so now that we are done with the base makeup, I go in with a sunscreen mist. So this is the Hawaiian Tropic Antioxidant Refresh Sunscreen Mist, and it's SPF 30. So I'm gonna cover my eyes because it does kind of burn when it gets in my eyes, so. But I feel like just using extra sun protection, especially in the summer, just helps a lot. And so my eyebrow products lately have been um, these three. The Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Um, and then the other product is the It Brow Power uh, Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe. So today, I think I'm going to go in with the Chella Brow Cream. So it's basically, it just comes with its own brush and then you dip it into the cream that's on the other side. Right, and then the brow gel that I've been using is the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Mascara in the color Brownie Brows 02. <laughs> oh, let's get back to the chit chatty part. I mean, I guess we have been chit chatty, but you know, life updates. Um, graduating is weird. Like, I'm not with my friends in my apartment anymore. I am home. Um, yeah, and we are moving at the end of, my family is moving at the end of June, so most of my stuff is packed. Um, I just kind of kept it packed from when I came home. So I did get this set of three little mini Stila ones. Stila, what are these, Glitter and Glow? 
those shimmer and glows liquid eyeshadows um, I got a set of three from Marshalls um, and I also got that when I got the Anastasia blush um, but I figured this was a really good purchase because I don't have many of these I only have a glitter and glow um, and I figured going into the summer I would want some more liquid eyeshadows um, just metallic things to put on my eyes because I love metallic looks during the summer um, so this one is in the shade kitten I also have like a more golden one and then a brown one um, but I only kept kitten um, since I packed up some of my stuff um, and so this is the one that I use the most so I kept it and I just blend it out with my finger I think I'm gonna go in with my bronzer that I used and use that as my kind of crease shade. I'm gonna go in with this Alomar, um, I guess it's a crease brush. I don't know. Um, I was kind of jealous that I didn't have BoxyCharm for this month because they got the Alomar blush palette and it looks really good, but I don't need any more blushes. Like, I really don't. And I'm not gonna go in with eyeliner today, but um, usually for my interviews, I have been doing kind of this whole makeup look, maybe a little less highlighter so they don't think I'm like greasy and a little less bronzer, um, but I usually will do a winged eyeliner as well. Just like a very simple winged eyeliner. Um, just looks more professional, I think. I'm not gonna go in with it today though, um, but I use the Mary Kay liquid eyeliner. So let's go in with mascara. Um, I've been using the Mary Kay Lash Primer because I had it um, and I had not been using it at all. So it's been my mission to use it like every day. And I only use it on the upper lashes. So I'm just gonna put this in. I do find it like gives a fluffier look to my lashes and I really like fluffy, non-clumpy lashes. So I've been finding that this works really well. I'm gonna go in with the under eye mascara. Um, I'm using the Mary Kay Lash Love Waterproof. I've used this waterproof mascara, not this exact tube, obviously, because that would be gross, um, since high school. Um, ever since I was in Color Guard and Marching Band, I needed a waterproof mascara in case it rained or I sweat um, and it comes off. So I have been using this as my under eye mascara since high school. Freaking love it. I would definitely recommend if you were looking for a waterproof mascara that does not run, even if you cry, um, go for this one. And then for mascara, I've been going through um, and trying to use up all of my little trial size mascaras. So right now I'm on the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. I love this wand and the formula I find is like really, really good. So we're going to go in with that one. So we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. I've also been trying to use up all my setting sprays because I have a million. I don't need that many. And then this is also a new addition to my makeup collection because I'm bad. Um, but I wanted a lip balm with SPF in it. Um, I just had like this full SPF kick when I when I got that spray and I got this and I just really wanted SPF in my makeup routine. Um, so this is the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter Lip Balm. Uh, SPF 15 in the shade Brazilian Sunset. It tastes so good. I think it's mango, I want to say. Um, but you know like the butter bronzers, the butter blushes, this is from that same line, but this is newer. Um, and I just find like a orangey lip is really cool for summer, so, and it feels so nice. Um, also, I want to show you guys something that I have been obsessing over lately, fake freckles. So we're going to do them today. I don't do them every day, but I do them on days when I'm kind of going for a more natural look. Um, but this is the Flower Beauty Tattoo Effect um, Brow Vixen Stain. It's a brow pin. It's supposed to stain your eyebrows um, and it's in soft brown. I kind of just dot all around and then I smoosh it into my face with my fingers. I don't know. I'm not a pro. Okay, I just like it. You know, I just like how it looks and you really can't see it that much. But I just find it's really adorable. I love freckles on anyone. My boyfriend has freckles and I am so jealous because he's so cute. His little freckles and he gets more when he goes in the sun and it's just the cutest thing and I wish I had freckles. I don't. 
So I do a few that are like much darker and a few that are lighter. But I definitely recommend um, this pen if you're looking for a way to do easy fake freckles. Okay, so this is the finished look. I mean, usually that would take me 10, 15 minutes. If I did the eyeshadow, it would take me 15 minutes. But yeah, this has been like my go-to everyday summer, spring, summer um, makeup routine. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.